Putting a statewide tax on sugary drinks could help the state handle future health emergencies, and that's why state lawmakers tell King 5's Drew Mickelson, who's joining us live right now, Washington should be the first state in the entire country to have a statewide sweetened beverage tax. Drew? Yeah, Jessica, there are some cities across the country that have this, but at this point, no state has implemented this tax on sugary drinks, at least not yet. We'll see what happens here in Olympia. The proposal would be based on Seattle's current ordinance. Distributors would be charged 1.75 cents for every ounce in a drink that has 20 or more calories for every 12 ounces, meaning a can of Coke would cost an additional 21 cents. The funding would go towards public health and a health equity account to support making disproportionately impacted communities healthier. Sugary drinks are blamed for type 2 diabetes patients and is a cause of deadly cases of heart disease. But lawmakers heard from a pizzeria owner in Tacoma today who says this is the worst possible time for a new tax. Senate Bill 5371 will add additional costs to my already elevated expenses for my business each month that I simply do not have. I support a statewide tax on sugary drinks as both a tool for improving health outcomes and raising critical funds to invest in communities that have long experienced health inequities. State senators this morning heard from other health advocates who also say raising the price will make someone think twice before ordering that sweetened tea or maybe the caramel mocha drink of your choice. Coming up at five o'clock, we'll have an update on the two gas tax proposals that would raise the price of gas per gallon potentially later this year. Live in Olympia, Drew Mickelson, King of Five News.